it looks like we can throw away this talk of recession, at least for now. Let's keep that train going. I told you in this video back in July, the GDP growth in the second quarter of this year was super strong. And today we got the third quarter GDP numbers and you guessed it, they're strong too. People are spending, inflation is cooling, and the third quarter GDP expanded at a 2.8% annual rate. This is just below the 3% growth we saw in the last quarter and continuing on this streak of quarter after quarter growth. Now, I know lots of you are going to say these numbers aren't real. These numbers don't reflect what you feel in your everyday life and your feelings are valid. It is true. Lots of Americans feel that way. You are not alone, but regardless of how you feel, these numbers are used to determine America's economic strength on the world stage, which, by the way, we are far and away the country with the largest GDP. And these numbers are used by the Federal Reserve to determine when to increase and decrease your interest rates, which I'm going to talk about at the end of this video. First, what is GDP? The gross domestic product measures the total value of goods produced and services provided in a country during a single year. Okay, so today's report from the Bureau of Economic Analysis, as I said, found GDP in the third quarter increased 2.8% over last year. That means for the months of July, August, and September. So this is what GDP growth looks like on a chart. You can see there we are the third quarter of 2024 when we saw 2.8% GDP growth year over year going all the way back to 2006. There is the recession in 2008. You can see this horrible drop that was covid and then you can see that dramatic spike that was the recovery from covid and you can see we've had strong gdp growth ever since except for that one little spot right there which was the first quarter of 2022. so what's contributing to this third quarter gdp growth well the report says consumer spending is number one it grew 3.7 percent and the report says people are able to spend because of lots of things including increasing wages, lower unemployment, and inflation cooling off. The report found for the third quarter, consumer prices were up 2.3% from last year, which is this close to the Fed's 2% inflation goal. The report said people were spending on things like prescription drugs and purchasing cars and car parts, but also spending on outpatient healthcare services, food services, and accommodations. But the report says we're starting to see slowdowns in two sectors, in business spending on things like buildings and in people buying homes. Now we're gonna wait to see what the Federal Reserve thinks of all of this and whether they think it's enough to again cut interest rates when they meet next week, right after the election. 